Have you ever felt like you really aren't wanting to do what you were supposed to do? Well, this is a natural thing that happens to every single one of us, even the most successful people. The difference though is how we're going to tackle those thoughts that is going to make a massive difference. So in this episode number 54, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to show up even when you don't feel like it. So stay tuned. Terry here from terryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create faster results online so you can enjoy more of what you love with the people that you love. In this week's episode, I want to share with you the power of habits and also how to build up a habit in order to show up consistently on your business, in your business, and to your audience. It has to be built up. You know, a habit is not something that we are born with. It's not something that is natural, you know, inside of us. We have to build it up. And habits are actually the repetition of an action many, many times over a period of time. Once the habit is well in place, then you are doing it kind of on an autopilot, just like traveling and commuting from and to work. And what's great is that you can always remove bad habits by learning new healthy ones. To do so, you just need to have the right tools in order to, to execute the learning of the new healthy habits. So let's talk about it now. The first one is community. Being part of something which is bigger than ourselves always brings this element of motivation and wanting to reach new levels. Also, having a group of people that you can contact when you need to be lifted up is the valuable point of being part of a community. Plus, if you're part of a community that is really active at doing what you are supposed to do as well, it will motivate you naturally to do the tasks that you are supposed to go through each and every single day for not being left behind. The second tool that I use is accountability. Such a powerful tool, yet very underused, unfortunately. Being accountable to someone means that you're going to report to an individual or a group of people the things that you've done or not done at a specific time. Personally, I had to find an accountability that would point at me for not doing the things that I said I would do. So my ego thinks, right? And you might have heard me before saying that, but my best, really strongest accountability partner is basically you, my audience. I always tell you what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show up, and if I really want to be accountable for something, I will actually announce it on my stories or in a post or something of those sorts for you to be accountable. And I always say I will show up to show you the results. So I know that some people are watching out there. That is the most powerful thing that you can do for yourself is to declare out loud what you want to do, what you're setting yourself for, and go to do the things, but also mention to people, I will turn up and show up to show you whether I've done it or not. Another way to be accountable is also to have a coach. That is a very powerful way to be focused, to have you know a very good strategy plan in place in order for you to be taken from where you are to where you want to be. And as you know, each and every week, I do also empower you in your own way with a freebie, which this week is my mind and body nourishment guide, which is going to basically share with you eight elements for you to be energized and empowered anywhere, anytime when you fill it without disturbing your schedule. Feel free to get your hands on it by clicking the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform, then just 
click the link into the description or the bio link section that will take you back to my blog and below this video you will be getting the download button for you to get your guide into your email box. My third non-negotiable tool is personal development. Each and every single day I'm tuning into personal development. It is a must for growth and whether it is through podcasts, books, videos, I have to be tuning into personal development because I firmly believe and know that I would not be where I am today should not have been involved and still involved in personal development. If you keep the habit of reading a few pages of a good book each and every day, listening to a podcast, watching an inspirational video, you'll never remain in a pity party for too long because you will know how to lift yourself up and carry on and actually get stronger, grow through the experience rather than go through the experience. A really great book that you can put your hands on actually is The Seven Habits of Effective People by Stephen Covey. Really great book, it goes through those habits that really helps you also lift yourself up and make sure that you are on the right track on a regular basis. So The Seven Habits of Effective People by Stephen Covey. My final element is to have a routine. Keeping the habit of having a daily routine is first, healthy, second, crucial to your success. Having a diary where you've got all your tasks penciled down is going to remind you first to be present, but also to know what to do when you're supposed to. In conclusion, even if you think and are aware of some current habits that you have that are not serving you, then you can and have the power to actually change those habits with new healthy habits. Keep working on your mind, make sure to be surrounded yourself of the right people, use the correct tools and build your new self in the process. And remember, each and every week I do bring a freebie for you to be empowered in your own way. And this week, because we're talking about habits, I brought back my mind and body nourishment guide, which is going to share with you eight habits on how to be healthy, energized, and empowered anywhere, anytime without disturbing your schedule. So click the yellow button below this video if you want to get this guide for free into your email box, and that will be sent immediately. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, smash the share button, share it with your fellow makeup artists, network marketers, entrepreneurs, people that love personal development, and make sure also to give them access to those freebies because that could serve them for the better. Question of the week. What do you do, what do you currently do to make sure you are keeping on showing up to your audience? Share with me in the comment section what is it that you currently do, what type of strategy do you have in place in order to make sure you are showing up at all time. All right, you take care. Thank you so much for tuning in into this video training. Again, I love connecting with you each and every week. This video training is a wrap. Bye-bye-bye.